Welcome back to Tech Jutsu's YouTube channel. Today we're going to check out the new Okta IGA or Identity Governance and Administration feature. This feature is available as part of Okta's new Identity Engine platform. It allows you to ensure that the right people have the right access to the right resources with access request handling and certification campaigns to catch access creep. IGA includes two new modules, the Okta Access Requests module and the Okta Access Certification Reviews module. We're going to start with the Access Requests module. This module lets you submit, approve, and create requests for Okta resources. We're starting on the Requests menu. You have your inbox, which contains requests that you need to review for approval, your Sent folder, which contains requests that you yourself have submitted, and the All folder, which contains all requests that have been made that you have permission to view. Some requests that are submitted privately or with limited permissions you might not have access to. We're going to jump ahead to the Teams menu now. Here you can see all of the teams in your organization and also add teams here. We're going to go ahead and add a sales team. When you make a team, you can add users, set the team's appearance and theme color, and other key settings. So we're setting the name, description, going to add a couple of members here quickly. Now we can set whether team members must be invited by other team members, whether incoming requests for this team should be automatically marked as private, that might be useful for, say, an HR team. And you can also set whether approval requests coming to this team should be assigned to a particular member or whether they should rotate through some or all team members. And if you're rotating requests through some or all team members, you'll notice that you can exclude a specific user if you want. So we'll exclude our Kevin requester for now. So now we'll go ahead and create our team. So different teams can have different request types associated with them. We'll look at creating requests more in another video, but for now we'll look at making a request using a predefined request type. So we're off to the Access Requests menu, where we can see that access requests are associated with specific teams. We can see all or filter by a team, Let's go ahead and request access to Salesforce for one of our users. So requests will often require you to enter a reason why you need access to a given resource. And as you can see, that's the case here. So we'll submit this request and we will see the progress of this request. As you can see, it's been sent to one of our approvers and they'll action it and approve or deny it. And when that happens, I'll get an update both in the send folder here and in my email. As you can see, the request is already in my send folder. So I'll be able to see any updates here as the request progresses through the life cycle. So now let's move on to the Access Certifications module. As you might notice, the Access Certifications module is part of the Okta Admin Console. So this module lets you set up and configure certification campaigns. In a certification campaign, you ask an application or group admin to review the membership of their app or group to make sure that everyone who has access still needs that access. So we'll go ahead and set up a new campaign here. We'll give our campaign a name. We'll cer certify the sales group for today and a description. And we'll go ahead and set the start date for this campaign as well as. And we'll go ahead and set the start date and end date for this campaign. So you'll notice that we can certify applications or groups, but not both. So we'll go ahead and certify our sales group here. 
This is a separate group from the team in the access request module. It happens to have the same name. So we'll define the scope to specify. We can either use the Okta expression language to include or exclude users or just certify all users assigned. We can also exclude individual users. Now we'll have to select a reviewer. You could assign a dynamic reviewer such as the user's manager or go ahead and just select a single reviewer and that's what we'll do here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set myself as the reviewer. And we can also set up email notifications based on when a review is assigned and when the campaign is ended. For longer campaigns, you can also set a reminder for pending reviews. Now we have to choose what happens when a reviewer decides to approve, revoke, or not take any action for a task. Remediation begins right after rev a reviewer takes an action. So on approval, we're not going to do anything. But if a reviewer revokes access, we can automatically remove that user from the resource. And we can also elect to automatically remove users if a reviewer doesn't respond to a review in time. So we can assume that any users the reviewer doesn't respond for shouldn't have access and should be revoked. We're going to leave these settings as they are. And we're going to go ahead and schedule our campaign. So as you can see, our campaign will run the next morning. So as you can see, our campaign is going to start on the next morning. So we're back. Our campaign has just started and we've got four pending reviews. So we're going to go ahead and review all of these users. So we've just got four users in the sales group to review. I think we've got three here who should have access. And I'm going to go ahead and bulk approve those users. And I do have to provide a justification for that approval. And there's one user here who shouldn't have access, and I'm going to go ahead and revoke that access. I could also reassign this review to a new reviewer if I wanted. As you can see, I can select anyone within the org who makes sense to assign to. But for now, we're not going to go ahead and do that. We're just going to straight up revoke this access. And again, we'll have to provide a justification for this review decision. And that's that. We've completed our first certification review in the IGA module. Thanks for joining us today.